Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to uh, upgrade any Cisco phone 79 series or download the firmware after you do a factory reset. We have here a Cisco IP phone 7945. Uh, we will do a factory reset and we remove all the software on it by pressing the hash key. Uh, for this reason we need a DSCP server. Uh, I'm using Windows 2012 and I will enable uh, option 150. Uh, this will, uh, of course, we need a PoE switch in order to turn on the Cisco phone. Uh, also, we have a TFT server. Of course, you can put the TFTP server on the same DSCP server, but to make it easy to understand, I separated them in order you get the point. So we start by preparing our DSCP server. Uh, of course, you can use any used laptop. You can download Windows Server 2012 from internet. It is free for uh, at least enough time you do your job. Uh, so I will jump into my Windows Server and I will show you what I did on my Windows Server 2012, which work as the SCP server. Here it is, as you see, it is evaluation version of Windows Server 2012. Uh, first, you need to add roles. You go to manage, add roles and features. You click next and next. And as you see, I have uh, added two roles, Active Directory domain services and dscp services which is uh, simple steps you just click next 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 and the uh, uh, windows server will reboot and after reboot you can go and configure your dscp server and you can find uh, uh, many videos on how you configure your dscp server and i did that already but i will show you what I did. As you see, you can see the green sign next to IP4, which is mean the DSCP server is up and running. And I have an address pool from 100 to 120. So my range will be uh, 20 IPs for this uh, lab. And uh, the computer which connect to the uh, POE series, you will get the IP within this range. And we have to add option 150 to scope option. And um, to do this, uh, option 150 will tell the phone where the TFTP server. So it is very important to add this option. Otherwise, the phone will never find the TFTP server. For this reason, I will right click and go set predefined options. I will click add. You can give any name. For example, I will put TFTP server. And uh, the important thing here is data type. Uh, we change it to IP address and check the array and put the code 150. And the description, you can put any name or you can leave it blank as well. But I will put TFTP server. Then click OK. Uh, as you see, the option has been added. Click OK again. Now we go to scope options. You see, we have by default a uh, router and DNS server options. And uh, now we right click and configure options. As you see, the option which we already added, you can see it at the last the list of the list uh, 150 TFTP server. Here you have to add the IP address of the TFTP server, which is the IP address of our laptop, which we don't have now. We have to connect our laptop to this network in order to get the IP from this server. Then we come back to this DSCP option and we add the IP address of the laptop. Uh, which we install the TFTP server application on it. So now let's leave the DSCP server from here and I will jump on to my TFTP server. And uh, what we need here, we need the TFTP application. We download it from internet, it is free. And also we download the firmware for our Cisco phone. So let's download the TFTP application. Uh, we just uh, search for TFTP server okay. 
so right here FTP server so I'm doing all the steps in details in order to not miss any steps because I was struggling to do this because uh, sometime I was missing something so uh, from here I will download the TFTP application and I will install it as you see we have a TFTP application here ready to work now I will go to Cisco support the website and I will, do, I will download the firmware so I will write Cisco IP phone the model name is 7945 write firmware download it will uh, get the link for the website from the official website Cisco you click this link and as you see we have the website showing all the firmware versions the old versions and the new version it's up to you what version you will download you can download the latest one but in my case because my other phones using the 931 SR1 so I will download this but uh, uh, I tried this one didn't work so I will go to 931 SR4 so I will download this from the uh, right side you see we have three files you have to download the one which is zip and written cmtmr rm so download it of course it will ask you to log in if you don't have an account you can create it is free so I will log into my account and continue to download After downloaded finished, we open the zip file. So we right click and copy files to clipboard, and uh, we go. Uh, we create the folder on our desktop. We put any name. For example, I will put the uh, Cisco firmware. So I will uh, paste all the files into this folder and beside that we need another file which i will put the link to download in the description of this video uh, here down in it. and so where well, the file is xml default cnf uh, which is uh, very important without this the upgrade will not happen so we have to change a uh, file name the loads inside this XML default so I'll right click open with uh, notepad and uh, control F to find your phone model in my case is 7945 after you find it you have to change the that file name to the loads without the load you right click and copy the file name and bring it to this file look for 75 7945 and remove this line and put the the one you just uh, copied and then save the file so i have the the right firmware sr4 so close and save save now we configure the tftp server or before that i will uh, connect i will connect my tftp server to the poe switch which is getting ip address from the dstp server to see what ip i am receiving i should receive ip in the range 100 to 120 so let's see if i am able to ping the server which is the ip 88.1 
so it means my laptop uh, reserved an IP address and uh, one important thing is to uh, uh, you have to disable or turn off all the firewall in some cases uh, you get issues if you don't turn off the firewall on your laptop and uh, let me check what IP address I have on my laptop so I'll go to the uh, DSCP server, I, I'll go to address lease. I see my laptop received uh, 88.100 uh, IP, which means it is the IP for my TFTP server. So I'll come back to TFTP server option and I'll add that, that IP to it. So 192.168.88.100 is the TFTP server file. I'll click add and click OK. And one important thing is after you add this option, you have to restart your DSTP server uh, by right click and go to all tasks and restart. After you restart the work on the DSTP server finished, you don't need to do anything else. We go back to our DFTP server and uh, right click run as administrator. Otherwise, it will not save the changes you do on this application. Uh, first of all, we go to settings and in the global, make sure you have the FTV server option enabled only. Security is none. And the directory, basic directory, we change it to that folder which I created, Cisco firmware, and it includes all the files necessary for the upgrade. And you have to bind your TFTP to this address, to your LAN card, which is 188.100. This is the IP address of your uh, laptop, which means it will be the IP address of your TFTP server. All the options is good and click OK. Now you are ready to go. So uh, after that, we go to our IP phone and do the reset factory setting i will plug it to my poe switch and before it will it will turn on i will press the hash key and i will keep pressing until i see these two uh, button or lights are striping like this and then release the hash key then you need the password which is usually one two zero or one two hash so i will keep pressing until hash as you see the phone has been formatted and all the application removed on this phone and now it's trying to get or to connect to our tftp server if everything is in the right place the phone should uh, download the, the firmware from the tftp server to itself so i will bring it closer to make it clear view so as you see on my TFTP server uh, something happened and start downloading the files and on the phone also I see a file are downloading which means uh, all the settings and works we did is correct and we don't have any issues so we will leave it to finish these steps. Uh, the phone will restart one time and then come up again. We will not do anything. The phone needs to reboot two times to uh, complete the uh, upgrade. As you see, the, the blue screen appeared, which means a good sign. And we just wait, as you see on the top, I can see the date and time. And it's trying to copy it in IP. And just give it some more time, it will restart again. Now it's restarting.
downloading the files again or maybe it is different files but it look like the same files but uh, in my experience two times reboot is required because it asks for restarting and I didn't disconnect the TFTP server so it should work fine after this you just wait and you should be patient this may take some time The download finished again and the phone will restart again and boot up to go to the last screen. Now we are restarting and come up again. As you see the blue background is a good sign of the phone. As you see, we have a date and time. And uh, I can press settings button. You can see all the settings available, which means the upgrade has been successfully done. And now you can connect to your CUCM uh, server in order to get the configuration and the extension number. So by this, we finished upgrading the Cisco phone. I hope it is useful for everybody. See you in my next video.